in a closet and completely forgot about it. And that's where it's been since the 70s. Now, when, when we had a look at this, I, I had a word with the, um, the lady who brought it in. And uh, I said to her, um, well, I have, some, I have some good news and I have some bad news. So I said to her, the bad news is it's in terrible condition. It needs a total reverberation. There's been bits added, bits taken off. Um, the fingerboard hasn't been oiled probably since it was born and it's dried out quite badly. Um, it's, uh, it needs repairs on the bridge. It needs a refret. It has already been refretted once. Um, these are smaller frets, which is good. Uh, they need to come out because they're pretty much worn and it needs to be sympathetically refretted with some period correct frets. The wiring needs to be sorted out. We need to check that it works all okay, obviously. And uh, it needs a really good clean. I mean, a really good clean. It is, if you could see it in person, it is actually filthy. Um, I mean, it, he bought this guitar for 50 quid in 1967. What was his name, do you know? Oh, yeah, it? We haven't bought his name, actually. She never did mention. No, well, dad, annoyingly. I think it was, was it? I think so, yeah. Because I Yes, that's right, yeah. Well, in this video, we can scan through the May 20th, 1967 edition of Melody Maker magazine, as would have the previous owner of the Dirty Burst, sold by ATB Guitars, to Joe Bonamassa, who has renamed it the Royal Albert. We are not saying this is the actual advertisement, but we needed to find out if it existed. The reported purchase price of £50, seemed outrageous as a Gibson 335 sold for 140 guineas, and a used Telecaster for £75 in some stores. A betting man would say it's odds on to it being the exact line ad in the classified section of the magazine that brought about its purchase. They found in England outside of Birmingham. Oh, right, right. And uh, it was found under a set of stairs <laughs> and they brought it into um, ATB Guitars, my friend Mike's shop, for an appraisal. And they thought it, they thought it was worth £2,000. And he's, he was like, uh, maybe it's a little bit more. The story was that he bought it out of the back of Melody Maker magazine 